What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing really well. I'm going to read you guys two verses really quick from Luke chapter 22, verses 47 through 48. And this is when Judas betrays Jesus. Verse 47, but even as Jesus said this, a crowd approached led by Jesus, led, led by Judas, one of the 12 disciples. Judas walked over to Jesus to greet him with a kiss. But Jesus said, Judas, would you betray the son of man with a kiss? Now, I'm going to stop there for a second. In many, in many places all throughout the world, a greeting, a proper greeting would be a kiss. Right. And even and even in during this time in the in the Bible. Right. That's the form of it's a greeting, a kiss. Right. But here's the thing, though, the prearranged signal of when to be able to for the for the people to know who Jesus was, was when Judas had given Jesus a kiss. I'm going to read you. A, I'm going to read you a note in the Bible and note in my study Bible that I thought was really profound. And it says this, a kiss was and still is the traditional greeting among men in certain parts of the world. In this case, it was also the agreed upon signal to point out Jesus. And you'll be able to see that in Matthew chapter 26, verse 48. But here's the thing. It is ironic that a gesture of greeting would be the means of betrayal. It was a hollow gesture because of Judas's treachery. Have you ever have have any of your religious practices become empty gestures? We still betray Jesus when our acts of service or giving are insincere or carried out merely for show. How many times you've seen someone on TV or on, on, on Instagram giving for show just to be praised from other people? And the Bible already tells us the importance of giving in secret, not giving for the wrong reasons, not giving with the wrong intent. And far too often, so many of us give and do things for the wrong intent, just for show or just for just as a religious practice and not have the right intent and motives behind the things that we do. And as we grow in our relationship with the Lord, we have to get to a point that is super important that we do things because of our love for God and not do things for our love, not do things to gain love for God. The question is, is that we do things, we go to church, we go to um, do things for the work, for the Lord, giving to those in need. We go and get into the word of God. We go to God in prayer because it takes time for us to get to know him. We have to make time to get to know him. We love him that much and we want to draw more and more close to him. We want to be more and more like him. And far too often we find ourselves in situations where we do things and then it becomes empty gestures because we're doing things for the wrong reasons. And in this case, Judas was one of the 12 disciples and he ended up using a kiss that is something that is a greeting into something that was a form of betrayal. Don't find yourself in a situation where you're giving for the wrong reasons. Don't find yourself in a situation where you're fasting for the wrong reasons. Don't find yourself in a situation where you're praying in public for the wrong reasons. Because the Bible already tells us that when you try to do things and pray and fast and do all these different things to gain praise from the public and from the world, that's the only praise that you're going to receive. But when you fast for the right reasons, not trying to look look like you're fasting and not try to look like you're tired or not try to look like you're fatigued because of the fasting that you're doing. God will bless you in due time. But the thing is, is that are you looking to serve God for the right reasons? What are your motives from serving God? Look at yourself in the mirror. Are you serving God and, and do this daily? Really allow God to touch your heart. Evaluate yourself and ask God to take anything. The Bible tells us, and I believe in for, for, uh, Psalms 139 verses 23 through 24 to search your heart. Point out anything in us that is not like him. We need to allow God to search our hearts and point out anything that is in our hearts that is not like him. We must deny ourselves, take up a cross and follow him daily. And that requires us to, to be, allow God to deliver us from our flesh.
Serve God for the right reasons. Not because we want something. You don't give something to somebody because you want something. If you give with the true intentions, first of all, God already knows our heart anyway. So why not do and live for God because you love him? Far too often we treat Jesus like a sugar daddy. At going to God for something, going to him for something only when we need something. But why can't we just praise God and seek him and draw close to him and love him because of who he is and what he has done? He, God has allowed his son Jesus to die on the cross for us so that we will have new life in him and have eternal life. So that we can have grace. Isn't that good enough? But far too often we don't want it. We, we try to either we avoid a relationship with God altogether. Because we don't we don't want to deny ourselves or we go to or we go to God. Because we want something. Feeling to realize that God already knows. Don't be like Judas. Betraying him. Betraying Jesus. Just for this. Far too often we will allow money to get the best of us. We allow the things of this world to get the best of us. And the thing we must realize is that we sh should only serve one master. Either we're going to serve God. Or we're going to serve mammon money that is the question is is we can't take no money back with us when we stand before the when we stand before jesus at the judgment seat two things are going to be said depart from me i never knew you or oh, well done that good and faithful servant serve god with the right intent serve god with the right intent do things and tell people about Jesus Christ for the right reasons and the right intent because you love him and you want to see people come to Christ. We can't be selfish in our pursuit of Christ. We must tell others about him. The Bible tells us to go into all the world and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Go ye therefore and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. Serve God with a bright intent. All right. Peace.